When you look at home ownership rates amongst different ethnic groups, you'll find that the home ownership rates amongst white people are, are the highest, amongst Indians are up there, Chinese are up there. And then you go to Pakistanis, probably bang, uh, you know, much lower, Bengalis, much lower. And then usually near the bottom, you've got black Africans, black Caribbeans have home ownership rates that, that are higher than black Africans. And that's because most, the average black Caribbean person here in the UK defined and termed as black Caribbean is going to be older. It's going to be probably over 50. Whereas the average black African person in this country is going to be under 50, probably even under 30, I'd imagine. So the older you are, the more likely you are, you, you are to own property, right? But Overall, the home ownership rates amongst black people in the UK are very, very low. Now, why is this a problem? Well, the fact that home ownerships are low also means that wealth amongst a particular demographic group, if, if very few of those people own a home, that means very, very few of them, very few of them own any assets. A car is not an asset. It's depreciating in value all the time. A mobile phone is now not an asset. Makeup is not an asset. He a wig is not an asset. Clothes are not assets in the economic sense. They're assets in the sense of, you know, there is value assigned to them. Yes. So you could call them an asset in that way. Maybe I'm mixing up the technical terms, but it's very clear to me that there isn't really much else except something like a home, a property, that, that we can feasibly look to as being an asset. And why are assets important? Well, if you don't have any assets, then you're not gonna have any wealth. Wealth is a function of assets. Economic wealth is a function of assets. If you don't own a property, then where are your assets? What is it that you possess that you can say is an asset? Yeah, you've got the soft things like your wisdom, your, your family, your social capital, cultural capital. Yeah, all those things are absolutely absolutely critically important and you, it's not all it's not an either or thing by the way a lot of our people don't seem to realize the importance of owning assets tangible assets in particular and i i just don't understand why that is i don't understand why what it is we think is going to happen for example what do we think is going to happen when our children grow up and they start needing stuff what's going to happen when our children need to go to university, for example, if they want to. Or what's going to happen when our children want to start a business? Or when our children want to, you know, relocate somewhere and, and they come to us for help? How are we going to help them if we have no assets to liquidate, liquidate in order to, you know, generate funds for them? How are we going to do that? And similarly, how are we, what do we think is going to be happening when we get to retirement age and we don't we can't work anymore for example maybe someone was like, oh, i'll just work and work till i die well you know there's likely to come a time where you're not going to be able to work anymore or to, more 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 pertinently do you want to keep slaving away for some employer all of your days you know work your fingers to the bone till you're dead probably not but in order to be able to retire to cease laboring you need to have a source of income. You need to have some kind of assets. You need to be able to pay, you need to be able to keep a roof over your head. If you don't own a home, you're not gonna magically, you know, there aren't some magic houses that are just created at some point for us to all live in rent free. No, you'll have to pay rent. If you're, if you're renting, whether it be social housing, you know, in a, in a, in a government owned property or your own privately owned property, you're gonna have to, uh, rented property, private rented property, you need to pay rent. The landlord needs rent. The government needs rent. Where are you going to get the money for that if you're not working anymore? Do you see what I mean? These are the questions that I don't understand why our people are not thinking about. And I don't understand why we are not putting these issues on a much higher level. We want to, we want to maintain and strengthen our people, our race. Well, part of that involves making sure that we have a material base for that, for our next generation. But too many of our, our elders, die and they've not put any thought or any consideration into you know what kind of legacy they've left for their children and it's it's very disappointing and i just it's i'm going to start to make this one of my aims i'm not perfect by the way i started very late in terms of thinking about these sorts of things you know i started putting into a pension very very late and even my pension giving still fluctuates you know i'm not very i'm not as serious as i should be in that regards even at this late age you know, 
I'm still in a probably a much stronger position than a lot of our people. Um, and it's, the thing is, well, it's never too late. Let me just put it this way. Let me end with this. It's never too late. If you're even if you're in your 30s, in your 40s, even in your 50s, for goodness sake, it's not too late to start thinking. In fact, as soon as you it's almost it's good almost when you're older and you've just started thinking about these things seriously because you can you can be more focused and diligent with it. You can be more, I think as a, when you get a bit older, you can use that, what's that word? That um, herukuti energy and just be like, right, boom, that's it. And you can go into frugal living, start saving, start investing, start cutting down on your, your expenditure, you know, not being so frivolous with your spending and all that sort of stuff. But you've got to start. We have got to start. We, you know, I just don't understand how we think, why we think that the government's, you know, a government in 20, 30 years is going to be like, yes, we'll provide all the social housing for you. They're selling all that stuff off. Even for the average white person in this country, you know, for everybody in this country, whereas 30, 40, 50 years ago, there was loads of social housing, no such thing as waiting lists to get onto social housing. That's not the case anymore. Do you see what I'm saying? So we have to get serious. We have to wisen up. We have to buck up our, our ideas. We have to start talking about these things a lot more a lot more we have to be reasoning about these things a lot more we need to be sharing wisdom our elders in particular the ones older than me they're you if you're if, if you're in your 60s 70s or whatever start sharing some wisdom not just to your own first start form first and foremost with your children in your immediate orbit so your own children or nieces nephews and so forth yes yeah, start doing that but also start to share that wisdom wider do you know what i mean we can't just keep talking about kemet this and you know, uh, whatever that, and this is happening in this country in North Africa and Haiti and this, that's all good and important. But if you're not, if you're not making sure that we have that economic foundation for, for your, ourselves individually and for our people, our nation, it's all just tickling of ears. You know, it's all tickling of ears. It's all, it's like, it's like soap opera. You know, soap operas. You're on there. Oh, look, yeah, this is happening in this country. Oh, it's so entertaining. And then you go back to your rented accommodation. And you're in your, you know, 60s and you have no prospect of, you know, a secure future. And your children don't know what's going on with their money. They have no idea about investing and all that sort of stuff. It's it's basically almost disingenuous uh, consciousness if you're not focusing on those things. Now, and I mean that with love, by the way. I mean that with love. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be an idiot, you know, or, or a complete a hole but there you go yeah we've got to get on it we've got we've got to get on this home ownership and i'll be looking for i look forward to hearing your thoughts on some of this stuff guys but uh, for now peace out